Welcome to the University of PubNub UP103 Storage and Playback Basics. In this course, we're going to talk about how to store messages that are published to your keys, and more importantly, how to retrieve those messages once they are stored. So typical use cases of storage and playback are retrieving missed messages for when a user has been offline for an extended period of time, machine configuration automation, and as well as just playing back an event that happened sometime in the past. So in order to enable storage and playback, it's just like any other add-on. You go into your admin dashboard, you enable storage and playback, and then you can configure the duration of how long messages are stored. It can be one day, three days, all the way up to 30 days, or even forever. And once you enable the storage and playback add-on, all messages will then start being stored for any channel you publish them to. So once your messages are stored, you need to retrieve them, and you're going to do that using the History API. And when you call History, you need to provide at least two parameters. The first parameter is the channel, the channel which you want to retrieve messages from. And the second parameter is the callback, how those messages will actually be sent back to the caller. And when you receive those messages, the format will be an array of size 3. And the first element will be the list of messages that got returned. The second element will be the time token of the first message in that list. And the last element will be the time token of the last message in that list. And we talked about the two required parameters, channel and callback, but there are other optional parameters that are very useful. The first of those is count. Anytime you call history and you don't provide a count parameter, the default max number of messages you're going to receive is 100. Now, if you want to receive fewer than 100 messages, say you only get five, the last five messages, you would provide the count parameter with the number five. Now, you can't provide a count greater than 100. Even if you do, you're still only going to get, at most, 100 messages back. Now, if you do actually need to get more than 100 messages, then you're going to need to page through history. And we'll save that for a later uh, talk in a different course. There are two other parameters that are really useful, and that's the start and the end parameter. Now, the start parameter works in a way that if you provided a time token, you're going to get all messages from that time token and older. And if you provide that time token for the end parameter, you're going to get messages from that point in time and newer. Now, you can also provide a time token for start and end, and you'll get all messages in that time range. And that's it.